Hey everyone, welcome to Kesri Meals. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make cilantro pesto pizza. I have created a separate video on making a pizza dough. You can find the link for the pizza dough recipe in the description down below. And if you love the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Alright, let's get started. To prepare the pizza sauce, cilantro pesto, I need no tomatoes. Today, I'll be using a whole bunch of cilantro minced garlic, green chilies, sugar, some peanuts. And if you don't have peanuts, you can substitute with sesame seeds as well. Some ginger, half lime or lemon, and salt to taste. You're gonna need a blender. I'll add about half bunch of cilantro in the blender with some peanuts, sugar, minced garlic, green chilies, some sliced ginger, and a teaspoon of salt. I'll add a little water for now just for the blender to start. Then I'll keep adding the rest of the cilantro and water as per needed. But you don't want pesto to be watery. Alright, looks like it's done. Let's check. I'll squeeze half a lime and mix it well. Let's give it a taste. I'll take it out in a bowl. Then I'll be adding half tablespoon of oil. Here I'm using just vegetable oil. And give it a little stir. Our pesto is ready. I know you guys are wondering what veggies are gonna go on this pizza. I'll be adding boiled sliced potatoes, chopped green onions, sliced cucumber, green bell pepper cut julienne, sliced tomatoes. I'm also going to add oil seasoning mix on the pizza crust. To create this oil seasoning mix, mix two tablespoons of olive oil with some garlic powder, some black pepper, and some chaat masala, which is totally optional, but highly recommended. I'll add the link below in the description for chaat masala. Mix it well and it's ready. I have already prepared the pizza dough. You can find the recipe using the link in the description below. As usual, I'll start by spreading out the cilantro pesto. You don't want your pizza to be all soggy, so make sure you spread just enough on the dough to cover it up with a thin layer. I'll spread it evenly, leaving the edges. It's always the debate which veggies would go first. I'll start with boiled sliced potatoes. Then goes our cucumber slices. And actually I'm very picky. I like veggies evenly spread on the pizza when I'm making. Hey, if you're picky like me, don't forget to hit the like button. I'll sprinkle those chopped green onions sliced tomatoes, and then julienne cut bell peppers. Now it's totally up to you if you want to use colorful bell peppers. Let's sprinkle some black pepper and some chaat masala. And there goes our shredded cheese. I'm using pepper jack cheese, but Monterey Jack would work as well. Now is the time to brush off the edge with the seasoned olive oil. This will help make the pizza edge crispy. All right, it's ready to go into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's golden brown from the bottom. It's time. Let's take out the pizza from the oven. And I'll check if the crust is crisp enough. You need to hear a hollow sound on edges. I'll cut into slices and plate. It's irresistible. So let me just give it a taste. I would love to see pictures of your creation of this cilantro pesto pizza. So please do give it a try. If you like this video, 
Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to K-Stream Meals to check out our new videos.